Hey there, welcome to Let's Code EC tutorial on how to create an iOS application using Swift. We were creating an application called Let's Movie, which will list all the upcoming movies and TV series. Even before we continue with the functionality implementation, let's do some optimization. I'm talking about an optimization where we can get rid of all the if statements, which is checking for a null, nil condition. For that, we will lose, use something called as a guard statement. I'll show you how to do that. So let's check for uh, if conditions we had used where we were checking for uh, the nil conditions. One is over here where uh, we are getting the path and if it is not there, we just exit it. So instead of that, what we can actually try doing is include a guard statement like this and in the end we will call the else statement and the closure there. So what it does is, it is actually doing this nil check as well as unboxing the optional value. So what we can do is get rid of this if condition and include all of this code outside. So it remains the same only that uh, whatever we are finding as a failure we can include there. In this case, you uh, can just keep it as let's say if it fails, let's just print something like path does not exist. And as I said, it automatically unboxes the value. You don't need this. So within the guard, whatever let we have, we receive it here. As an box value. Also, make sure that you have a return here so that as soon as it is null, it is returned. The statement does not execute. Let's structure the code. So, you can see that uh, I got rid of one if condition. We have one more here where it is checking for the path. Even that one, okay, this actually is checking for the movie configuration. So, movie configuration dictionary does not exist. So, we can actually club these things together. Let's say if you have this if also, we can do something like user guard. Or even better, what we can do is just use this let as the first statement, the next let as the second statement. We just chain both of them together and use within one card so that we are getting rid of all of this code. So, as I said, we can. Use this. This is gone. So we have everything coming under a guard statement. So if this fails, we just print the statement back saying it does not exist. Club would say part of the reconfiguration dictionary does not exist. If you want it separate, you can keep two guards so that you know that uh, one of them has actually failed. So that you can return it as path is not there or movie configuration is not there. So I'm just showing you how to create a, a chained uh, guard statement. So you have it as separated by a comma. 
So this is how user, you use a guard statement. Thank you for watching this short tutorial.